actually don't define myself as an artist. I define myself as a reality tester. So as a reality tester, I've experienced 14 episodes or periods of schizophrenia, or de- what was defined as schizophrenia. The context in which I'm sitting at the moment, this exhibition, the Only Smarties Have the Answer, is about the treatment that I received at the hands of psychiatry. It was treatment that I would say was at the very least inhumane, and I do regard the treatment I received as a violation of my fundamental human rights. The title image, Only Smarties Have the Answer, depicts a Xerox print of the brain, which is labelled at strategic points in relation to the geography of the brain, punctuated by Smarties with question marks on. And that is an encapsulation of what the show is about. It's a reference to the neuroleptic drugs that are imposed on the people who experience altered states of consciousness, but it's also a reference to the clever dicks that prescribe them or impose them. One of the images that I've created is called the Butterfly Collector, and it depicts an electric blue butterfly pierced or penetrated by a syringe containing neuroleptic drugs, the drugs that they impose upon those who experience psychic um, aspects of reality or what they would call psychosis. It's about clinically induced paranoia and the way in which people are forcibly injected um, and the whole regime that that is in place is one that creates fear and a demenas um, um, climate. Professor Eugene Blurler was the man that contrived the word schizophrenia in 1912, which means, um, schiz meaning split and free meaning of the mind. It's an image that really is about the legacy of Professor Eugene Blurler. In other words, That word has now evoked in the psyche of the public um, the um, idea of mad axman. One of the images is called Case Notes, which is a series of 100 butterflies that are made out of my psychiatric records and labelled with the words psychosis. I quite like them because you get glimpses of that pathologising process, but you feel like you want to unwrap them and see more of the document, but there's these fragments. But when I was making them, I was actually thinking to myself, this is really sad. (laughs) Making origami butterflies out of my psychiatric records. But um, anyway, now it's finished. I don't feel so um, so, um, self-defacing about it. I remember um, I used to be woken in this institution, you'd be woken by the, the rattling of pill bottles on a trolley as it was wheeled in at eight o'clock in the morning. And there were no good mornings, it was medication time. That was your greeting for the day. Brainstorm is the root of a tree that is um, painted matte black to evoke the idea of scorched wood. And it has a neon, randomly flashing neon striking the tree. And this is a representation within the context of this exhibition of the practice of electroconvulsive treatment therapy, so-called therapy a practice that is routinely done without the consent of individuals. My argument is these practices very often have a detrimental effect effect on the individual's mental health and well-being. They have no therapeutic benefit to the contrary. They're creating the problems they're designed to solve. There's a series of pieces called The Emperor's New Clothes, which 
is a parody of the um, psychiatrist and the psychiatric establishment. It's, it's a series of 24 display cases in which are contained um, bow ties made of surgical dressing. They're pinned with, with, with red-headed needles that simulate sterile syringes and droplets of blood. And they're labelled with antipsychotic drugs and the name of a psychiatrist. It's reflecting back to the clinicians their propensity to forcibly inject people and categorise uh, um, individuals and label individuals. Um, but dare I say it's also a, a rather cheekily a playful voodoo. Um, I uh, found that very cathartic actually. <laughs>And there are people walking around this planet who've been diagnosed, who've been certified, walking around with victim mentality because they're perceiving themselves as a victim of illness. And I'm, what my work is about is I'm really encouraging people to reclaim their own experiences, their own identity, uh, because I believe it's been sabotaged by diagnosis. Mine was uh, 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 at one point. Now I just wave it like a banner and say, right, call me schizophrenic, but I'm, I'm a professional schizophrenic. And I'll, I'll wave it like a banner. Um, but, but I say it's not, I don't say it in the clinical term. I would say, call me schizophrenic by all means, but it's not this, it's this. <laughs>